Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock B650 Pro RS motherboard. The ASRock B650 Pro RS motherboard uses AMD's mainstream B650 chipset, supporting all of AMD's latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors on the AM5 socket. This B650 is targeted at the mainstream market and only offers a total of 36 usable PCIe lanes. It does not support PCIe 5 slot for your next gen graphics cards, but it does offer CPU overclocking and AMD's Expo for memory profiles. The ASRock B650 Pro RS features a 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phase design with SPS for stability. It supports DDR5 RAM with speeds of up to DDR5 6200OC and comes with one PCI 4 x 16 slot for your graphics card and one PCI 3 uh, x 16 slot as well as one PCI 4 x 1 slot. For storage it comes with one blazing M.2 PCIe Gen 5x4 slot and one Hyper M.2 PCIe Gen 4x4 slot. It also comes with one M.2 PCIe Gen 3x2 and uh, a total of four SATA ports for your SSDs. And for connectivity, it features the Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN and uh, an optional module for your Wi-Fi using the uh, M.2 key E slot. And finally, this motherboard comes with all of the usual ASRock features, including the 8-layer PCB, the HDMI output, a display port, the Realtek 7.1 HD codec, the Nahemic audio, and of course, ASRock's polychrome RGB. We'll be putting this motherboard to the test using the Ryzen 9 7900X along with some nice DDR5 6000 RAM. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock B650 Pro RS motherboard. Supports DDR5 RAM and comes with the PCI 5 uh, Gen 5 slot for your SSD, uh, polychrome sync, HDMI. All right, let's take a look inside the box. All right, here's your motherboard. I'll put this on the side and we'll take a look at the accessories. So what we have here. All right, it's a nice ASRock badge. We have one set of uh, SATA cables and uh, we have uh, three M.2 screws, three SSDs, AM5 installation guide, and the uh, B650 Pro RS manual. Okay, that's pretty much it. There's not much else in the accessories. Um, We'll take a look at the motherboard now. All right, here we have the ASRock uh, B650 Pro RS motherboard. It's uh, much lighter than the previous ASRock boards that we'd taken a look at, especially the Tai Chi versions. And uh, full size ATX, and um, the back, not much, it's just the uh, AM5 mounting bracket there. Okay, yep, take a look at the slot here. This is the AM5 socket for your processors, supporting all uh, Ryzen 7000 series of processors. Very nice. We'll take a look at the top right here first. Here we have the 8-pin and 4-pin uh, power connector for your motherboard. And you can see that the heatsink is fairly small, but uh, enough. And uh, one for the MOSFET and VRMs, one for the uh, Blazing M.2 SSD and uh, a little heat shield and heat sink for your chipset. All right, we're also at the top here. We have uh, pin headers for your cooling. There's two of them there. Uh, ARGB connectors, two of them. And then we have the ATX uh, connector, 24 pin ATX for your motherboard, a USB 3 and uh, the type E um, for USB so connection there. Uh, we have uh, four SATA ports for your SSDs. And then over here we have um, just your usual connectors for your onboard reset switches for your case, P 
pin headers for your fan, two of them there, Casey Moss, USB a header, and then more RGB headers here, and uh, my audio connected right there. Okay, over here we have the Hyper M.2 slot for your SSD, and also here the uh, the key E M.2 Wi-Fi for the module Wi-Fi module. Um, all right, we'll take a look at the slots here. We have the uh, steel slot there. This is a PCI 4 times 16 slot, not PCI 5. All right, uh, this is the one time slot for PCI 4 and the uh, PCI 3 times 16 slot. All right, we'll take a look at the uh, dim slots here, usual dim slots and uh, supporting DDR5 uh, 6200 RAM. Okay. We'll take a look at the I.O. We'll start off at this end. We have the BIOS flashback. There's a display port, HDMI, and uh, more USB connectors here. And uh, USB type C, more USB headers, the Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN, and uh, array of audio connectors here. All right, so to test this board, we'll be using a Ryzen 9 7900X along with some nice DDR5 6000 RAM in there and see how it performs. All right, so that was a quick unboxing of the uh, ASRock B650 Pro. Pro RS is by all intent and purposes designed and targeted for the mainstream market, so it will lack some of the features found on the higher end Tai Chi motherboards. Having said that, don't discount this motherboard just yet. If you want to build an affordable system based on the latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors, then the ASRock B650 Pro RS is the perfect choice. It supports DDR5 RAM with speeds of up to DDR5 6200OC, AMD Expo memory profiles, and it comes with a display port and HDMI output as well as one blazing M.2 slot for your PCIe Gen 5x4 SSDs. During our tests, we use an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X processor along with the GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card. We managed to pull some phenomenal scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench score of 27,820 multi-core and 1,915 single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 9,374 and a score of 9,994 for Pass Mark 9. For UL's latest Procyon Photo Editing Benchmark, we got a score of 10,027 and 8,232 for the Video Editing Suite. For 3D Marked Speedway and Port Royal, we got a score of 5,156 and 12,844 respectively. And finally, for Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got decent scores of 18,351 and 40,665 respectively. All in all, the ASRock B650 Pro RS is probably one of the most affordable AM5 motherboards designed and targeted at the mainstream market. It does lack some of the enthusiast features that we all love on higher end motherboards, but it definitely makes up for it in the uh, performance department. If you're a system builder who's looking to build a second system, then take a look at the ASRock B650 Pro RS, which is amazingly priced at under $250. You can check out the full review at our website at funkic.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the ASRock B650 Pro RS motherboard. It comes with some nice features and a decent performance to match. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkKit.com.